unit does not have audio. I kind of like the silent movie bit for my mount, for my riding. So anyway, so I've got the FPV system, and right now, I can put it in different places, but right now, it's pointing to the back. And uh, you should check out my videos. i got a dog trailer, and i got videos uh, showing the dog trailer behind the, the, uh, the, the bike as we're trailing. Fantastic. Okay, so, uh, shocks. Okay. Uh, okay, so here you've got your, uh, your Shimano 27 speed. I think the shifting and the gearing are fantastic. Um, to go to a lower gear, you push this lever thumb lever to go to a higher gear you push this button and it's called index shifting if you're not familiar familiar with it which means theoretically whenever you shift to one gear or another it goes right to the right place there's no fiddling with it really like old school uh and i found that to be pretty much true now here's your throttle i put these orange dots on there to show me you know where i'm at uh but so you're riding along like this at any time yes let's say you're riding in pedal assist Going along pedal assist, then you want to go to full electric, you just reach over here and hit the throttle and stop pedaling, and off you go. Let go of it, boom. Here's the bell that comes with it. Okay. Uh, here's an auxiliary uh, headlight that I got. Oh, here's your little electronic system. Uh, here's the front derailleur shifter. Okay. Now, let me tell you something about the battery before I forget. Okay, there's where it charges. You can see the charging port dead center screen. We'll close that. Now, I learned something interesting. Uh, I'll turn this on in a second. I learned something interesting, folks. Now, over here, there's a, a lock. As everybody know, probably knows, there's a lock here on the battery, right? To protect, I thought that was uh, strictly to prevent theft. That's what I thought. Wrong. I've got a video I post where I'm whipping along on a trail, and the battery goes flying off the bike. It goes flying off the bike because I didn't lock it, because I've learned that lock is also to secure the battery to the bike. So that might be good to know for a newbie, uh, like I was, okay. All right, and then uh, the frame. I think, first of all, I think the bike looks cool as heck. I really do, I think they did a fantastic job on everything. Uh, I like this matte black, I like the graphics. Totem, there's a logo that looks like a couple feathers crossed, pretty cool. Uh, I look at how the wiring is very, very neat and tidy, all the cabling and everything. On the front of the bike here is real nice. Um, yeah, there's even graphics on the underside of the down tube. Ain't that something? Beautiful. I think this bike is just really beautifully done. This bike is 46 pounds with, with the battery, which to me is, again, I'm a newbie, but that seems awfully light to me. Okay. There's your dropouts. Is that what they're called? I can't remember. Yeah. And the electric motor. The electric motor is very the electric motor is very spunky, very spunky, uh, peppy, right? Um, which I love, and at the same time, it's very smooth, it's very smooth, and it's very quiet. Now they advertise the top speed at 20 miles per hour. I've gotten 21 and a half on level ground, and it wasn't even pavement; it was gravel, level ground, gravel, and there was even a little bit of a headwind, and I was getting 21 and a half. So in downhill, you can get a lot more. Um, and again, I love the versatility where you can blend your, your pedaling and of course you shift and, and adjust your gears when you do that. That's strictly for the, for the pedaling part, obviously. Um, but again, you can, you can adjust how, how much or how little pedaling you're doing, how much or how little pedaling you're doing. You might want to uh, pedal more and, uh, use less, uh, battery power because maybe you got a long way to go, uh, and you want to conserve battery power or you don't only have a little bit left, you know, or maybe you want to get a lot of exercise, you know, so you maybe use a little to no assist. And that's another thing I want to not forget. This is my dog buddy. This is my dog buddy. Uh, at 46 pounds, uh, this bike feels and rides, in my opinion, fantastic uh, without any assist at all. Just riding the bike without any assist as if it was not an e-bike. I find this bike very light and nimble, comfortable, and, and, and fantastic to ride, including on the trails. So that's another big thing to me. I, to me, that means the bike was very well designed and built inherently, you know, even if it didn't have a motor on it. And with a motor, it's just extra cool. Uh, again, hardtail. I just keep my butt off the saddle most of the time and, uh, you know, and, uh, but, uh, but if it's just fairly smooth but bumpy, then I would sit on the seat and I've got a, a suspension seat post coming that will make it so when I, and I've used, I've done this before. Ridden, I'd like a hardtail, so I've ridden a hardtail but I get a suspension seat post. So for those places that I want to 
then I can just sit on the saddle because they're bumpy but nothing technical at all. Well, then I can sit on the saddle and it smooths out the ride for, my, for me and it also uh, provides some dampening to the rear, rear tire of the bike. And then, uh, yeah, so that works pretty good. And what else? Oh, the pedals. The pedals are interesting. Uh, I like these pedals. I love these pedals. I, I, I wear these Nike, these Nike uh, shoes, and they make fantastic cycling shoes, in, in my opinion. And there's the tread. It's got a pretty knob, knobby tread on there. Now, these are not the usual mountain bike pedals. Usually, they're flat, real flat, and plastic. These are like the uh, 60s and 70s, you know, 10-speed type of pedals, which used to be called a cage pedal, as I recall. Uh, it's got the flat plastic part, but it's also got this part here, which is metal, aluminum, right? Right here. So those teeth, there you go, those teeth really grip onto my uh, shoes. So I like these pedals much better than it's just a flat plastic slippery potentially pedal. So that's another little nice touch. They, in my opinion, they do a really a lot of nice touches on this. Uh, yeah. Uh, that might be it, folks. That might be it. Yeah, I think it is. Oh, no, it's not it. All right, so we'll turn on the bike here. All right. There we go. And then we come over here. And we hold this side button here to turn on our little electronics setup. There we go. There we go. So I'm not going to put it into any system mode or anything like that because you got to have the brakes on or something. But uh, it's got some, uh, you can see it says speed. This is what that shows right there. Let's see, actually, what we're going to do this. Uh, I'm trying to figure out. Oh, next mode. Speed. Trying to show you different functions on here. Trip meter. I've done, uh, well, 69 miles. Uh, but that's not for a trip. That's co collectively. And then odometer. And then back to your speed. And then to turn it off, you hold it in. And it'll go off. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Come around here, turn off the bike. Okay, one more thing I want to tell you. Assembly, first of all, if you buy this bike or if you're considering buying this bike, and I got this from Amazon, but whether or not you buy it from Amazon, I would go to Amazon and watch the assembly video that is provided on the Amazon uh, listing for this bike because it's fantastic and it's very easy to assemble. But watching that video just makes it all the easier. It's 85% assembled. It comes very, very well boxed to protect it during shipping. It comes with this owner's manual here, which tells you everything you need to know, including proper battery use and care. And folks, it even comes with all the tools for the assembly. Screwdriver, three Allen wrenches, and a double-ended double, double -ended, uh, spanner, if you're English, a spanner. Double-ended uh, wrench, open-ended wrench. So there you go, folks. It even comes with all the tools for assembly. There's the manual. There's the bike. All right. This is Mark at E-Bike Adventures Bend, Oregon, saying do some riding today, and we're going to show you a video about my dog trailer coming up pretty soon. Please subscribe. That's a brand spanking new channel, and I appreciate the views that I'm getting, and you have a great day. Signing off in 5, 4, 3, Two, one, zero.